All right, we're back with former Chicago Bear and philanthropist Israel Adonaje. You have an organization, If Charities, that supports 9,000 youth in Chicago, Winnipeg, and West Africa. Through this organization, you created a new program, the If Code. Can you tell us about this new addition to the program? Well, you know, um, looking at kind of where the world is going, you know, there's so much opportunity. Over 1.4 million jobs in technology will be available in 2020, and we wanted to, to do our part in, in providing those opportunities to our kids. So if code is going to be a, a sprint, a short camp, we're going to train over 2,000 kids on the core uh, developmental skills that they'll need to learn how to code and ultimately how to communicate in the future, uh, which is a technology future. and, and um, People will be able to, the kids will be able to learn about web design, um, you know, uh, the, the, the hardware in, in technology, and then just how to build apps. Okay, so we're two, we're two big guys in two little chairs. Yeah. And we got pizza in front of us. Naturally, everybody thinks we're probably doing an eating contest. That's not the case that right is, now. That is not the case. You partner with Blaze Pizza. You guys have a goal to raise X amount of dollars yeah. by November 12th. Can you tell me what the partnership's about and how much money you guys are looking to raise? Yeah, so the partnership was with Blaze Pizza and, and really the community, and it's called Blazing the Way. And, and, and simply by going into Blaze Pizza and by purchasing a pizza, 20% of that purchase will go towards getting our kids uh, the training that they need to code. And we're going to raise $50,000 that'll have, that'll allow 2,000 kids in Chicago in, in, in underserved areas. It'll give them the skill set, you know, uh, a quick win through the camp where they can come out of that knowing how to do something as far as technology. Now, Israel, for those parents out there who are watching and undoubtedly thinking, I want my kid involved in this program, how can I go about doing that? Yeah, it's... Um, for this first few sprints, it'll be simply uh, schools and, and youth centers that we're partnered with. And, and, you know, I agree, parents today, you should have your kids doing something as far as, as coding. Uh, but the Blazing the Way campaign, you know, from November 6th to 12th, if you bring your kids in, buy a pizza, you'll be helping another kid in Chicago learn how to code. So now this is just one of your initiatives, the philanthropist that you are and all the work you do. Are there some other projects, special ones I know about? Can you share yeah. those with the viewers out there? Yeah, I think we do a pro program called Shop with the Cop every year. You know, so um, we bring out 100 kids that uh, really need that support during the holidays, you know, Thanksgiving and Christmas, and we get the opportunity to, to um, each kid will get a $100 gift card, and they'll get to buy themselves something special. We'll have bowling and pizza. And, and really, it's about people in the community, the leadership in the community. We have a, a ton of corporate support and local law enforcement that comes out. And it's about spreading love and letting these kids know how important they are and how much we care for them during the holidays. Israel, I got to say, you know, as a guy who works in sports, a former athlete myself, I understand the commitment to being an athlete. That's also a great niche to just ride out in your life. Yeah. You've gone a different path and always have been aware of what's going on in the community and wanting to help. Where does that come from? You know, I think, one, it starts with my parents. You know, my, my parents were missionaries, so they, they lived a life committed to service. And, you know, getting to play in the NFL in this incredible platform where you have a voice, you know, I thought it would, it would be a disservice to just be known for making plays on the field. It's really, the platform is, is really about um, using it to hopefully make our community, to make our world even a little bit better. That's what I felt uh, it's really always been about. Born in Nigeria, I believe, correct? Yeah. Grew up in Canada. Yeah. Um, came to Chicago, playing football, thought it'd probably be just a pit stop. Yeah. It's become home. Yeah. What about Chicago makes it so special that you said, this is where I'm going to build, raise a family, and really leave an impact? Yeah, you know what? I, I got to Chicago. I was 21 years old. I was, I was a kid, and, and I, I signed to a one-week contract. I was going to be here for one week, and that one week turned into to 10 years. So, um, you know, I grew up here. I went from a boy to a man in Chicago, and it was because of leadership, mentorship, support um, that, that, you know, wrapped around a young kid that came to the city that allowed me to develop to who I am today. So that's why Chicago is so special. It's a city with, with, with a lot of love, a lot of heart, and um, that's why I call Chicago home. You know, I, I got to laugh as we sit here and talk like this. I think about the remarks recently from our President Trump about football players being sons of bees. Yeah. And I'm sitting here talking to a guy like this. It's just laughable at, 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 the, at the narrative being yeah. created when there's men like this out there doing Thank great you. things. Israel Adonijay, thanks for the time. True inspiration, my friend.